Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a short and quick and informative video all about the timeline of what it takes to become a doctor. I got a comment on one of my old videos asking about what the specific years are in terms of how long it takes to become a doctor. So I wanted to kind of give a timeline and break it down into different categories based on the different steps that you have to take. So let's get started. So the first major decision once you complete high school is where are you gonna go for university? Post-secondary graduate school is very important in terms of applying to medicine. So university is very important, but not particularly which degree you do. What matters is the prerequisite courses that are required for medical school and if they're offered by your school and then you take them and complete that with your program. So overall, university is four years, and after that, or in between university, you have to take the MCAT. Now the MCAT is an entrance exam into medical school, and the MCAT is a very specific type of entrance exam, and you have to study and prepare for that exam, same way you do with many other entrance exams like the GMAC, PCAT, and the LSAT. After you complete the MCAT, what you then do is apply to medical school and you will do your interviews, you will decide where you want to go and you'll have that application process done and then you will get accepted into medical school. Medical school in itself is four years long and it's broken up into two sections. So the first year and a half is classroom learning where you learn basic sciences, you do all introductory like preparatory classes in order to prepare you to take your first exam. So that first exam is called step one. So I've talked briefly about step one before and step one is one of the first USMLEs that you will have to take in your medical school career. There are a total of three exams called the steps, but step two is broken into two exams. But the first exam that you will take in your medical school years is step one. Step one, like I've emphasized before, is a very difficult exam very challenging and it takes quite a lot of preparation in order to take that exam. So this will will take a large portion of your time, the preparation and the motivation of getting ready to take that exam. After you take step one is when you move on to your clinical rotations. So this is the second portion of your medical school years. The first year and a half is classroom learning. Second um, year and a half is going to be practical learning. So you're going out into the field, you're in clinical rotations where you're going to specific offices or hospitals to learn clinical medicine. You're going to be with the people, with the nurses, with the pharmacists, with the technicians, and you're going to be learning while you're there. So these clinical rotations are a year and a half. In between this time is when you will be preparing to take the two step two exams, which are clinical knowledge, the CK, and the clinical skills portion, which is CS. So I know that step two CS is now officially canceled with the pandemic, but in the original timeline, this is what you would be doing. Step two CK is multiple choice exam, similar to step one, that will be taken by the end of your third or fourth year in preparation for the next portion of the medical school journey. So once you finish your third and enter your fourth year, you have to be preparing for the match. So at this point, when you're going through the different rotations in your clinical rotations, you have to be assessing what program or what specialty do you want to apply to to work in it for the rest of your life. The process of applying for the match is lengthy and it is difficult as well. Every step of the way through medical school is difficult. It is not an easy process. And the match in itself is a very frustrating, challenging and rewarding process because at the end of it all, if you are able to match, then that is a very gratifying moment. So if you follow my timeline or the timeline of a family medicine resident, then once you match and you get accepted into a family medicine program, you are signing up for an additional three years of residency training. Family medicine is three years in the United States. In other countries, it's a different amount of time and uh, depending on what other program you look into uh, matching into, you will be signing up for those additional years of training. Now that you're in your residency, you have to start 
preparing for step three. Now, people do take step three prior to starting their U.S. residency, um, but there is an expectation that you can take this exam into your residency years. Different programs will have different requirements. My program allowed us to take it by the end of our first six months of our second year. Once you've completed your three years of training, in the last six months, you have to be preparing for the state licensing exam. So for family medicine, the ABFM is the American Board of Family Medicine. They have their board exam offered two times in the year and your program will set you up to take it when you're in the last few months of your training. This year, I will be taking it in April. This is the last step towards completing your residency training and obtaining an independent license. Once you pass that board exam, then you have the time and the opportunity to then move forward and apply for your state license. After that, then you are able to graduate, yay! So once you've completed all these steps, you have your license, you are now ready for independent practice. And the next step after that is finding a job. <laughs> So yeah guys, these are the steps and the timeline of what it takes to become a doctor based on what it is that I've done, you know, through the university, medical school, and then applying to a family medicine program. Like I mentioned, different programs have different lengths of time for how long the residencies are. And after that, you can also do fellowships, which add more years to your training. I personally am not doing that, but that is a choice that you can make when it comes to it. But overall, when you think about it, it takes four years of university, four years of medical school, three years of residency training. So that is 11 years to become a fully licensed doctor. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you guys have any other suggestions or questions, then please let it me know in the comments and I will get to it. Bye guys.